Okay, it's a wonderful afternoon in Lagos, Nigeria, and this is Ajegule. To be precise, St. Mary's Catholic Church. Now, it is the Catholic Men Organization of Nigeria, a papa dinari of the Archdiocese of Lagos, that is coming together for this noble retreat. It is the first of its kind. It actually started yesterday with where the prayers and the candles were raised with their tools of trade. And that was actually spearheaded by Father Wisdom Chikeze yesterday. Today is the Holy Mass before we move into the reception where other activities will proceed. Now, we know that men are the ones that actually lead in any nation. And if we don't have men that are vibrant, then the nation will fall. That is why they've come together. The entire Papa Dinari is gathered at St. Mary's Catholic Church and it's going to be a wonderful atmosphere. That is why we're having a blue carpet. We're going to be interacting with major dignitaries and Reverend Father Martins that is taking the Holy Mass today right here. It's going to be a wonderful one. My name is Christopher Morris. We'll have Nehemiah Agedo on the camera. We'll be right back after this break. All right, this is Biola Dupo. Mary Ma Uduma. My name is Esinde Johnson. I am a passionate ICT professional in Nigeria. My name is Akimbo Adegumi, Adiola Konafto. My name is Professor Adenike Oshofison, the first female professor of computer science in Nigeria. You're watching. You are watching. You are watching. You are watching Win TV 247. Don't you touch that dial. Right, in case you're watching us from any part of the world, it is still Catholic Men Organization of Nigeria, a Papa Dinari to be precise, that is bringing the men together. Now, if they don't set the pace, the Sion will not have a way to go. That is why we're proud to be standing with Father like this in the Catholic Church. Sir, please introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Your name? My name is Chief J.U. Idagwa, the Ezai Nolabi of Idata, in Imo State. Oh. And the President General, Catholic of Fraternity of Christian Fathers, Archdiocese of Lagos. It's a pleasure to have you here, sir. sir please introduce yourself. My name is uh, Chief Emeka E. Aso Ego, the President of Catholic Men Organization, Lagos Archdiocese. It's a pleasure to have you here, sir. sir. What about you? Let's get to meet you. Charles Obiako, PRO. Archdiocese of Fraternity of Christian Fathers. It's a pleasure to have you here. Sir, let's take it from your end. This is the first time the dinner is coming together. Let's share your thoughts. When you left home, what was going on on your mind? Um, this is the first major event for a Papa dinner. Exactly, sir. That is why I'm here. Hmm. To see by myself what they are doing. Yes, sir. Although I have other serious engagement that I'm supposed to have been attended, I'm the chief launcher of that occasion. Wow. But I said, as a leader of the men in Lagos I Digest, I must be here first before it's I go in. It's a order. pleasure, sir. Men are meant to be setting the pace wherever they find themselves. Hmm. Because the Bible says, you are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Okay. And when light, you cannot light light and hit it under the table. Okay. And when you bring them together, you will see that light shining. Right, sir. And that is what Papa Denari is doing today. They have taken the Boat step hmm. to bring all men in the uh, Papa Denari together. They are, this program has started since Monday and they are coming to an end today. Wow. They have been having a series of workshops, seminars to educate and empower their men. Hmm. And today, being the grand finale, the program will continue. Wow. And that is why I'm here. So I want to thank you very much. Let's talk to your brother and a friend. Daddy, Hello. what are you saying to the organizing committee for putting this together? In you fact, have not entered that place, but fact, we know you will see in something. In fact, they have made things to happen. Hmm. Uh, with what I have seen already, I am very much impressed. Yeah. And uh, with the impression I have, I believe they are accommodating in everything. Because Catholic Men of the Organization is the umbrella for all men. Yes, sir. And the other organizations growing under it must get the shelter of uh, CMO. Wow. We, of the Catholic Confraternity of Christian Fathers, belong to CMO. Hmm. Only thing is that, the, with CMO and CFO, so uh, CCCF, which is Catholic Confraternity of Christian Fathers, okay. some people cannot distinguish the difference between the two. Wow. We are one under the CMO, hmm. and we operate under that uh, umbrella. Thank you very so, much, sir. That is it. Thank you, sir. Lastly, the Nigerian youth, just a tip Anything you want to say to them as a father that grew up from being a child and today you're a father. Please, anything you want to say to the youth? For what and for youth? True Christ. Really, in my parish, St. Patrick Catholic Church, Oja Alaba, I'm one of the patrons. And uh, we started by going through a formidable 
youth formation in our zone. And that is why they made me patron. And we have been contributing to, positively towards the upliftment and uh, the upbringing of the youth. And we have been making contribution. And uh, what I confirmed today is that our recent visit to His Grace, okay. that Bishop at Dewala Martins, he oh. asked us the question, the cordial relationship between us and CMO. Yes, sir. And we confirmed to him that it is very, very cordial. Okay. And most of us are members of CMO in our various parishes. Yeah. And in fact, my joy today has no limit by seeing my amable chairman, Chief Asegu, mm. inviting us for a joint meeting. Wow. In fact, it has really testified that we are really working together. And I send my kudos to my amable chairman, Chief Joe Yibaba, for what he has been doing to carry on the conversation of Christian fathers. And Chief Asia will now confirm it by having a joint meeting, wow. which means he has really played that fatherly role of umbrella for all men. And I pray that that cordial relationship existing and which this dinner has visited today wow. is going to be a continuous success. Amen. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, you just heard it now from veterans in Nigeria. They are the ones setting the pace for this particular church, the pioneering church, if you want to say that, because when it was said that upon this rock I built my church, they're talking about the Catholic Church, and we're keeping this faith here with this gathering, Catholic Men Organization of Nigeria. So I really want the men of this um, dinary, of this um, locality, this environment, to really. We are waking to setting consciousness, both spiritual consciousness and the environmental consciousness because so many things are happening and they need to like wake up and say to themselves that the enough is enough, let us try and do something. It's a nice, it's a, it's a, it's a right step in the right direction. Once the Catholic Church awakens itself to certain things, everything begins to take its place. Every other person begins to learn from it. So I'm happy that this is the first of its kind. I'm, part, I'm proud to be part of it and it's the first person to have conducted a retreat for them. And we have people from different parishes under our papa right here. And even other family members of this same uh, Catholic men organization, they are here to share this particular noble idea. So please introduce yourself. So my name is Sylvester Ackman. I am from St. Flavius Catholic Church, uh, Warren Shoki. It's a pleasure to have you here. So mommy, please introduce yourself. My name is Tala Kaku Place. I'm from St. Matthew's. Parish, Amukoko. Amukoko. Sir, let's get to meet you. Um, I'm Chief Teteba Tohanuga from St. Flavius Ourochoki. I'm the chairman of the men there. Sir, so let's start from your end. Yeah. Sir, today tell us what is going on on your mind. It started oh, with the Holy Mass. What, what, what's make me to be here? It's only the test message. Hmm. He pushed me. Wow. I remove it, he pushed again. I remove it, he pushed again. <laughs> I say I must be here today. This is good. That's fantastic. Thank you very much, Sir. Yeah. Please, um, it's a retreat for Catholic Men Organization. And there is a lot on prostate cancer, youth orientation, the fathers taking their place. Tell us, what do you think? I really, what I've seen here is really very encouraging, religiously, spiritually, and even the physical world. Wow. When I get, uh, get through the seminar on prostate cancer and okay. a lot of things, I get to know a lot of things that I never knew. Wow. And I really welcome that in as much as it's a, a, a religious thing, it's also Thing that is good for us. So very I, educating. Very, very educating. Thank you very much. And mommy, before we go, let's hear you. The women are supporting the men because they can't do it alone. What's your words today for the Catholic Men Organization of Nigeria? In fact, I'm so highly impressed with what has happened today. This is the first of its kind in this dinary. In fact, I don't know. Hmm. It is marvelous. And for the men, I'll say they should keep it up. Okay. And for our youth, I'll say they should shun violence thank and cultism. Mommy, thank you very much. My son, lastly, the young Nigerian youth, please leave some words to them. Um, well, what I'm only advising them, they may look at the fathers hmm. and follow the footsteps. Thank you very much. That's if all. we follow our father, we'll build a better nation. Yeah. We'll see you after this time out. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, we still have uh, more guests here. And we have um, proactive Nigerians from the Catholic fold. Amu Koko, St. Matthews to be precise. Let's get to meet them officially. So please do us the honor of introducing yourself. Comrade Linus, Ezal Okoroji, uh, CEO of uh, Humanity Services Project. All right, sir. Uh, Amu Koko. It's a pleasure to have you here, madam. Let's get to meet you. My name is Mrs. Macy Okoroji. Madam, let's start from here. They say, ladies, horse. Today you are here to support the men. And you, we know when it comes to women empowerment, you are in the forefront with what you are doing with St. Matthew's Women Training Center. Tell us what is going on in your mind today. Uh, sure, today I'm uh, actually I'm very, very happy because my husband is one of the awardees. So that was why I'm here today. Wow. 
um, again, we are about to, we are among those that are going to dance. So wow. This is good. Is, Thank is. you very much. Daddy, Daddy, let's hear you talk about the fact that the, 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 the CMO has identified your impact in this particular church, yes. the Catholic Church, and today you are being recognized. How does it feel? In fact, everything, glory be to God for everything. And okay. we will continue to participate and play our role, okay. play our part as long as God gives us life. Okay. I think uh, our worry is that uh, men are not doing so much right. for the society because our society is rotten. And I think that uh, we need a lot of good men to come out and wow. make sure that uh, the society is cleansed, especially Christians, men of faith. Wow. Thank you very much, Alfred. That will allow them to go inside now. It is still Catholic Men Organization of Nigeria, Upper Part Generi, bringing everybody together. We'll be back. Daddy, please introduce yourself. Yeah. My name is Tennyson Charlie Yenidem. Right. KSM. That is the night, meaning the night of St. Mulumba. It's a pleasure, sir. Yeah. Daddy, tell us today. CMO is calling everybody together. What's going on in your mind? Uh, today is the first dinner celebration wow. of CMO. Wow. Calling all the 11 parishes. Together. Together. Hmm. It's going to be a very huge celebration. Thank so, you very Thank you very much. Thank God for that. Thank you very much. You just had it now. Everybody's excited that we will allow you to go inside now. Um, we're actually looking on to uh, Reverend Father Martin and his colleague to join us here. We want to hear their words for the men in the Catholic fold, especially here in Lagos, Nigeria. A Papa Ginari to be precise. We'll be right back in a bit. All right, this is Biola Dupo. Mary Ma Uduma. My name is Isinde Johnson. I am a passionate ICT professional in Nigeria. My name is Akimbo Adibumi, Adiola Konafto. My name is Professor Adenike Oshofison, the first female professor of computer science in Nigeria. You're watching. You are watching. You are watching. You are watching Win TV 247. Don't you touch that dial. Okay, we still have members of CMO gracing the blue carpet because their color is made up of blue, white, and a touch of orange. Sir, please introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is uh, Brother Manuel Duru from CKC Ojo Road. Oh, it's a pleasure to have okay, you here, sir. Yeah, thank you. Sir, this is the first time the dinner is coming together. How do you feel today? In fact, I'm feeling happy because this is worth doing. I want to thank God for the lives of the committee, the wisdom given to them because it's not easy. To organize this kind of uh, program, yes, sir. in fact, uh, they tried a lot. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, sir. My name is Mr. Val Anyangu. I'm from St. Matthew's Parish, Amukoko, the parish chairman of CMO. And by the grace of God, the publicity chairman of this uh, Papa Dinare committee that is planning this event today. It's a pleasure, sir. So we, we've had some words from the president of Lagos State Chapter. Catholic Men Organization of Nigeria. He came here and he said, you people have really pulled the string. It is happening for the first time. Yes. Sir, tell us, what is the secret behind this success we are seeing today? Yeah, the secret is that uh, by the grace of God, we are united. Okay. And we have uh, vibrant uh, leaders who are at the helm affairs uh, this time around. And by the grace of God, we are trying to bring all the men in our Papa Dinari together. As you can see, this is the first, the maiden edition of the celebration of the men in this uh, dinari. Wow. And we thank God they are come to pass. Wow, so it's, so it's really a pleasure. So what are you saying to the members of your committee? Other committees put their strength together, like you said, unity. Please leave some words for them. Okay, I want to say a very big thank you to them. Most especially our young and dynamic uh, planning committee uh, chairman, Mr. Zubike. And uh, fortunately, he's my secretary at my parish. <laughs> this is I'm very, very proud of him. He has done so well. And that's why we all came together from our parish to support him. And by the grace of God, we are having a successful celebration. Sir, any words for the parish priest of St. Mary's Catholic Church yes, for playing the host? Yes, we want to say a very big thank you to him. It's not by mistake that uh, we bring this uh, event to this venue. Okay. As the mother parish. And again, our chaplain, this is the residence of our chaplain okay. of the CMO in this dinner. Oh, we awesome. are very, very grateful. He has given us all the support we needed, more than 100% support. And that's why you see us today laughing, smiling, and celebrating. Because without his support and approval, I don't think we will go far. Wow. And we know he will continue to support us as we grow to serve the Lord. Let's get to meet the people that are playing the host. People from St. Mary's Catholic Church, Ajegule. Sir, please come closer. Let's get to meet you. What's your name? My name is Jamie Anigwe, the president of CMO St. Mary Ajegule. 
This is awesome. Madam, please introduce yourself. My name is Mrs. Helen Dino Jo, a parishioner here in C uh, uh, CWO. Okay. The Mary Ajagule. Madam. We have the men of your parish. We have you know him very well. Yes. They are the one that is hosting the whole of Papa Dinari yes. and some other people from the national level. What are you saying to them? I'm saying the congratulations. Wow. And we pray that God should continue progressing them and give them the wisdom to be the leaders of the church and the families in Jesus' name. Amen. Madam, we'll allow you to go and do other things now. Sir, let's face you as the host. You are very busy as I can see you. You're about to move into another assignment. Tell us, how do you feel being the host of this event? Anyway, uh, this event has not happened in a Papa Dinari. Hmm. This is the first time it's happening in a Papa Dinari. Wow. And being the host, St. Mary Catholic Church is the mother church of a Papa Dinari. That's very correct. And uh, the, our PP here yeah. is our chaplain. Okay. He's, uh, everywhere. That is, I recognize, uh, the man is a man of honor. Is man of integrity. Okay. He supported Adinari for to the total. And he himself is the chaplain of a Papa Dinari CMO. Wow, this is a double assembly. honor. Yeah, it's a double honor. <laughs> and I love him. All right, you're welcome back to this unique platform. It is still the Catholic Men Organization of Nigeria that is bringing a Papa Dinari and the national level together. And St. Mary's Catholic Church is playing the host. This is where Catholic Church started in this part of Lagos. Thank Most you. Amazing. Good afternoon. My name is Monsignor Anthony Irele, the Dean of Apapadinari. It's a pleasure to have you here. Sir? My name is uh, Reverend Father Martin Wakwe, the parish priest. Father, let's start it from your end. How does it feel having a brother, a friend, in the same industry? Let's use it from the, from the conventional standard. Standing here today for this noble cause, men of Catholic in Apapadinari coming together. Uh, my son is not just my brother, or not only my brother and friend, but uh, my father. Beautiful. Uh, so he representing the his grace, the Archbishop here in the, you know in this ceremony today. Yes, sir. And it's wonderful to have him around because he is the dean of our Papa Dinari too. So I, and I don't think I'm the only person hosting. He is also hosting oh. the people. He, this is his his abode. Wow! And we've just come to his dinner, oh. and uh, so he's in charge of today's occasion. And we are happy with that. And he's been carrying the mantle of leadership well. Uh, Most I know this is a double honor today. We feel very very privileged. Very young. We just want to hear your words for the Nigerian youth, because when the Catholic men gets to their level, they exit. It is the Sion that carries on this particular fate. Tell us, the camera is watching, sir. Well, it used to be said that the youths are leaders of tomorrow. It used to be said, but uh, if you want to be a leader of tomorrow, you must start from today. Oh. And that means that uh, we don't regard our youths as leaders of tomorrow, but rather we regard them as leaders of today. Oh. And that means that um, they don't have to wait to be told what to do. They see what is happening around us. They see what is happening in the society. So whatever they know they can do, they have initiative. Let them bring it up and uh, we, the leaders, will definitely support them. So let them not wait for us to tell them what to do. They must do things by themselves. So I want to thank you very much. Musen, lastly, the committee that put this together, it is happening the first time when you are very, very much around. How does it feel and your recommendation for them to do more? Well, as it was said, this is the first time we are having the dinner day celebration for CMO in the Catholic Archdiocese. So they have taken the lead. And because they have taken the lead, I expect that they should continue to take the lead. Today we are having a, what we describe as a, empowering our youths, our men. It's a great challenge. And you've started it. And I just pray to God that they have the strength and courage to bring to completion what they have started. I want to thank you very, very much, sir. Before you, you make that move now, it's time for you to send some words to those that have put this together. We have the national president seated there. The state president of CMO is present. That means your call that you put to them has been answered. And you're going to be facing them today with few words to take home as a charge. Please, let's hear a few in the camera. It's really a, a, a big uh, homecoming for all these uh, superpowers, the powers that be, when you talk about CMO, yes, Cali Men Organization in Nigeria and yeah. Lagos that is, that is as a whole, for them to have gathered today. It's a full house. Wow. And we thank God for the journey message granted them. Thank God for 
them saving our time, making our time to come to grace this occasion. And right, uh, we believe that it will be a wonderful ceremony today. And God, at the end of it all, God will bless all of us. We want to thank you very much. We just had it now. We have leaders here telling us that the way forward, we are the ones we are waiting for. The Nigerian youth, the Catholic youth are the ones we are waiting for. Let us take our place in the society. Thank you very much and God bless you, sir. And these are the wonderful children of MCA. They are going to be giving them some presentation inside. But let's find out how they feel today. Princess, what's your name? I'm Marachi. And what about you? Ebude. Yeah. Okay, what's your name? My name is Yechuku. And we're, we're, we're actually privileged to have a father here. Daddy, what's your name? Ah, uh, Sir Prince J. Medike, my name, sir. Sir, say it again. Sir Prince J. Medike. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, let's talk to the big auntie here. Hold on. Auntie, please, what's your name? I'm Mrs. Joyce Ide. And you are the one taking care of these beautiful children. Yes. Um, tell us, what will you be doing at the, at the CMO program today? We have welcome song to present oh, to the CMO, yes. Wow, this is awesome. So, we allow them to go and prepare. They are getting ready. Everybody say, Dear CMO, wave yes. to the camera. Dear yes. CMO, wave to the camera. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. I'll see you guys. Bye. Social media. The new and fast-growing economy for your organizational goals and objectives. The right place for your target audience for all products and services. Anywhere, any day and any time with traceable results. Are you worried on how to launch your events, your awards, cultural festival, trade promotions or political campaign? Do you want to broadcast yourself to a global audience? Let us make your brand searchable by setting up your dedicated brand channel plus our turnkey search engine optimization services that makes you stay on top of your competition. MicroRest Nigeria Limited is your accredited social media expert that you require to achieve your media goals and objectives. Call us today on 0705-534-3121 or 0803-581-2081. Log on to www.microres.com.ng for more. Well, MicroRes as a partner has been wonderful. Uh, this is the first time we are having this kind of uh, uh, display. This kind of global presentation uh, on the YouTube. Uh, we haven't had this at all in the past few years, and quite a number of uh, those that have watched it have commended the initiative as a new dimension in delivering value, not just to the chamber but also to the exhibitors. With the advent of the social media and the internet platform, we have a lot of viewership. People that have not been able to come to this event can go online and view the event. There are more than 40 million Nigerians going online. So if you're not in this event, you can watch us on online. The, the exposure and the visibility of this program will not end by physical attendance because this is the information age. And we can see the large array of exhibitors, local and domestic, international.